everyone, I'm Erica Gerges, Senior Developer Advocate at Zendesk. Today, I'm going to show you how to build a modern Next.js plus Express app with Zendesk SSO using OAuth and PKCE. We'll walk through configuring a new OAuth client in Zendesk, setting up the custom server, and wiring up the full PKCE flow, all in under 10 minutes. Let's dive in. So before we get into the code, we're going to create a new OAuth client in Zendesk first. You will need an admin account in order to do this. First, sign in with an admin account and navigate to the Admin Center. In the Admin Center, go to Apps and Integrations, Zendesk API, OAuth Clients, then click Add OAuth Client. Next step, we're going to complete the fields seen on the screen. Feel free to put what best describes your app for the client name, description, company, and logo. The unique identifier is also known as your client ID, so be sure to name that appropriately. For this demo, I'm just using Zendesk underscore SSO. Since this OAuth client is being used for SSO, we'll check confidential for the client kind. If you've ever added an OAuth client in Zendesk in the past, this probably looks new to you. Recently, there was an update to the Zendesk OAuth client. Due to implementations to increase security measures, it is now required for all public OAuth clients to use PKCE. Thankfully, we're still using PKCE in this demonstration, so if you do need a public OAuth client, you'll know how to implement it. For the redirect URL, we're going to put localhost at whatever your available port is, followed by the following path, which is zendesk forward slash OAuth forward slash callback. We're only going to include our localhost for now. In production though, you'll wanna make sure to update this and include your production URL here too. Once you hit save, you'll receive the client secret. Be sure to save this as you will need it later and it will not be visible again once you navigate away from the page. Awesome, you've successfully gotten the OAuth client configured in Zendesk. Now, let's get to the code. If you want to grab this app's repo and follow along, you can find those resources and links in the description below. First, let's scaffold our project. In your terminal, run npx create next app Zendesk SSO. Then we're just going to change directories to Zendesk SSO and then npm install express, express session, axios, .env, and styled components. Express will handle the OAuth routes, and I use styled components just to make it pretty. Create a .env file on the root with your Zendesk subdomain, client ID and secret, redirect URI, and session secret. Make sure to restart your server whenever you change these values. Next, all right, let's build out our custom Express server step-by-step. Step. I'm starting with an empty server.js file. I'll talk you through each line as we write it. First, we need to load our secrets, the Zendesk subdomain, client ID, redirect URI, and session secret. I'm using .env pointed at the .env file so we can safely store these values outside of our code. That way we never hard code credentials. Next, a quick sanity check. If any of those variables aren't set, we log an error and bail out immediately. Better to crash here than debug confusing undefined errors later. Here I import express for routing, next for our React frontend, express session to store state and user data, nodes built-in crypto for PKCE, and Axios for HTTP requests. Then I create a Next.js app instance and grab its handler so we can delegate any unhandled routes back to our app. 
PKCE requires a code verifier and a code challenge. These two small helpers let us hash the verifier and transform it into a URL safe base64 string. Then I'll call app.prepare so Next.js builds its internal router. Inside the dot then callback, I'll spin up express and mount express session. The secret comes from our env file and we disable resaving and uninitialized sessions for security and performance. Here's our kickoff route. We generate a 16-byte state for CSRF protection and a 32-byte code verifier for PKCE. Hash it into the code challenge, then stash both in the session. We assemble the Zendesk OAuth URL with all required query params, client ID, redirect URI scope, PKCE challenge, and state. And finally, redirect the browser there. The callback route grabs the code and state from the query. We verify they match our session, then make a post request to Zendesk's OAuth tokens endpoint. On success, we pull out the access token, use it to fetch usersme.json, and store the user object in the session. Calling rec.session.save ensures our cookie is written before redirecting the user to their profile. Finally, a simple logout route that kills the session and a catch-all that hands everything else off to our app. With that, our server is complete and handles PKCE, token exchange, user fetching, and session management, all in under a few dozen lines of code. Next, we'll style our pages with styled components. For styled components to work with server-side rendering, we need a custom document.js file. We'll collect styles on the server and inject them into our HTML. Then in our app file, we add global CSS for the fonts and background color. You'll need to also create a login file under pages. I'm just using a full screen background centered card with a heading and a button that links to the Zendesk auth path. Clicking that triggers a full page redirect so we don't lose any query params in the OAuth flow. Looking good. Let's click sign in with Zendesk. The browser navigates to the Zendesk login screen with our client ID, redirect URI, code challenge, state, and scope. After I enter my credentials and hit approve, Zendesk redirects back to our Zendesk forward slash callback. Back on the server, Express grabs the code and state, exchanges it for an access token using that post request, then fetches the API v2 users me.json endpoint. We save the user object in session and call rec.session.save before redirecting them to their profile. When the user clicks sign out, Express kills the session and we're sent back to the login screen. And that's it. To recap, we've built a Next.js app with a custom Express server to handle OAuth PKCE with Zendesk, styled everything with styled components, and demonstrated a secure login profile setup. All under 10 minutes. And that's my cue. You can find all the code on GitHub. Be sure to check for the link in the description. For questions, feedback, or to share ideas for other Zendesk-related developer content you'd like to see, feel free to share them in the comment section or join the conversation in our developer community. Thanks for watching, and happy coding, friends.